So um, after all of that, is that when you found out about the opening at St. Faustina? No, this is, I have such a long Oh, life. there's still more. There's so much more. <laughs> yeah, like the 30-day 30, 30 was a lot. Um, okay. Yeah, and so uh, I started, there was a clear call to pursue a master's in theology. So I'm studying oh, wow. at Franciscan online right now, getting my master's, which will take forever because I'm going so slowly. And then uh, I was... I think a couple that year, I just kind of like I want when I left Houston, I swore off Houston because I hate Houston because um, <laughs> yeah, of the humidity. Humidity, <laughs> like I was like, oh my gosh. Well, you also came during Harvey, Harvey, which is a really bad time for Houston. Yeah, and I think also I just didn't know how to handle uh, ministry or like just because again wounds and stuff like that. I was living out of a lot of that too, uh-huh. um, and so uh, when I had left Adore. I was like, I'm never coming back to Houston, all that stuff. And then eventually, um, one day I was like doing homework and like browsing jobs. And then I just remember looking at Galveston, Houston and seeing St. Faustina. I was like, oh, <laughs> I'll apply for that. And then I applied for a couple other jobs. None of the other jobs worked. And then I remember I eventually got contacted by Brian Lennox, the director. And mm-hmm. then interview process but it was covid and then um he didn't he wasn't <laughs> it's gonna make him look bad um he wasn't able to respond back immediately so like i applied and then something happened because of covid yeah and then they were they had to, like pause hiring and so it was almost like i applied and then it almost took a full year for anything to really get rolling um but i i, I eventually interviewed and uh they interviewed me at noah's ark um Oh, in that room, yeah, yes. that room with the animals. Yes, but uh, yeah, I remember like that interview. Like this was the job I was most excited about, um, uh-huh. and it was between them, or Saint Faustina, and this other missionary apostolate called Vagabond Missions. They're based out of uh, Steubenville or Philly. I don't remember, but it was it was like inner city ministry. But it was between those two. But when I did my interview with uh, Saint Faustina, it was just very clear. Just this is where you're supposed to be. Yeah, and I, I there was just a lot of peace, and then I just remember, like knowing the Lord, I was like, I said not to Houston. Like I don't want to go back. I was like, no, not again. But um, I'm, I'm glad <laughs> the I'm humidity. Here. Yes, the humidity and the possibility like, of hurricanes, <laughs> traffic, concrete <laughs> jungle, like all of this stuff. Um, I don't know anyone here, but. Um, yeah, so the Lord called me here and it's been, I think I'm nearing my third year now. Wow. Yeah. So no plans to go anywhere right now. No, no. Just not. studying for your master's in theology. Yep. Yep. So. And ministering to the, the kids here. Yeah. So that's, that's all I've got. 